Hi, Cupcakes. How are you doing? Um, I'm back on here tonight. First of all, I just want to um, first say that um, I might cry in this video. So if anybody um, is watching this video and you do not want to see me crying, um, just go ahead and just click to another one because this is just one of the moments, you know, I might cry. So I'm just warning you right now, if, if you don't want to see me cry, just stop this video right now. I'm going to give you a few seconds. Okay, um, so I am on here because I want to talk about trust. Um, first and foremost, it, you know, trust is, it's, it's, people have different definitions of trust. Um, trust is, is something that most people have a hard time doing. Some people it's easier to trust and some people it's kind of in between. Some people, they just don't trust you at all. Um, I'm one of the ones that, you know, I have a hard time trusting, you know, anybody, even though it might seem like I don't, um, I really do. I have a very hard time doing that because, you know, I don't know, first of all, you know, you, the viewers, anyone in the streets, I don't know you like that, you know, um, and the thing that, that gets me the hardest trust that I have with me is, is relationships trust you know and meaning friendships personal relationships anything of that sort of nature um because for me um me being um a very sensitive person you know sensitive really super super sensitive i have a hard time opening up to, to people you know um um especially ones that i don't know if i if i don't know you i'm not going to trust you like that um i'm a very cautious person and for me, I look at I look at anybody and you know I get like this feeling from them, um, not to sound all crazy or nothing. And I, you know, they always say you can't judge a book by its cover. And you know, I know it sounds like oh, that's what you're doing, but for me, it's like I guess because I'm so cautious all the time and me having trust issues, that's just something that I just I just do. Um, and I'm not saying that it's a good thing and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's, it's just a, a precaution thing, you know, and for me, um, first of all, with friends, if you are someone that I call a friend of mine, you know, I categorize my friends in this sense. You are either a, my best friend, my friend, my associate or my bitch on my side and the reason why i categorize it like that is because my best friend you guys know who you are you're the ones that i tell everything to you know me from up and down you know you know what's going on with me you know you know me when i'm not even on here you know what goes on in my daily life i know what's going on with yours if we haven't talked to each other in a long time we can rekindle within a couple of years and it'll, it'll be as if nothing ever happened it'll be exactly like it was yesterday you know my best friends are the ones that I hold dear to me and I only I can I only have a few of best friends I can count them on one hand um as far as what my friends are concerned friends are the ones you know I can have a conversation with you and we can we can vibe and all that or whatever but you're not the type of person to me that I consider a best friend because I don't tell you everything you know you're the ones that I, I come to when if I just if I want to pick up the phone and just just talk to you or if I'm seeing you and we're just like you know vibing and have a good conversation or or I'm just catching up with you or um, I'm just wondering you know how your day been or, or what's been going on with you and stuff like that friends to me tend to be in that type of category you're the you're the ones to me that you're not my best friend where I can tell you everything but you're not the associate you're like somebody that I can just vibe with. Um, associate, everybody knows what an associate is. An associate to me is somebody that I just say hey and bye to. Um, if I see you in the streets, it's just like, hmm, okay, yeah, hey, how you doing? And keep going. Maybe, maybe I hate, you know. Um, but associates to me is you, you are, you kind, you just, I know you there, but then I kind of don't know you there. And I know that sounds so mean. And it sounds like, it, you know, I'm so vulgar and, and blunt up in your face about it. But everybody has associates. 
you know, um, and even if you don't consider nobody your friend, somebody has an associate, you know, and it, it don't matter what form it is, you know, I've met people that say they don't have friends, they have associates, because it's more tolerable for them to deal with associates than to have these different type of relationships. So the associates are just, you know, the every now and then, hey, and, you know, what the fuck ever, you know, um, and as far as with the bitch on the side that's basically a motherfucker that i don't give a damn about you know i don't i don't give a fuck about you i don't care nothing that goes on with you you know and that's just it you know and i know that a lot of people might may say oh i'm trying to be mean and boastful and i'm trying to fake and pretend to be something that i'm not and everything like that when it comes to those bitches on the sides but y'all motherfuckers don't know me and quite frankly, I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I don't give a fuck at all. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the bitches on the side. Now, when it comes to my my best friends and the ones that I hold dear, I really do care about how you feel. You know, um, a lot. Because I, sh I share a lot of myself with you. You know, and and I, and I know with some, some of my best friends, they probably feel like I don't. Because I'm the type of person, um, if you if you say something to me that I feel like is hurtful to me, um, I I will not tell you. Um, I and even if I do, you'll know because I'm I'll get like quiet or um, or my my tone or my demeanor or something that's going on with me will change. And I hate that. And it's just like when people tell me, you know, I can look at you and tell when something's sad is going on with you and or I can tell just from the sound of your voice that something's wrong with you because I'm so expressive you know and I hate that shit so much because I wish that sometimes people would not know that shit about me it's really aggravating it really is you know and I know that that's just who I am but I'm going to tell you a story about me that most people don't know the person that you know of right now of, of me right now I didn't used to be the type of person where I would speak I would just be quiet I never said anything I was really really nice I was you know I, I had low self-esteem issues, um, a lot of insecurities, and even now today I still have insecurities, um, but I'm still, I'm trying to work on them. You know, I am a work in progress, you know, and, and that shit is hard to even admit because, you know, a lot of people, they, they look up to me, you know, not even cry, but a lot of people, they, they look up to me, you know, and they feel like, you know, oh, you have it together and you don't have no insecurities. You're so confident. But sometimes I get to that point where I do. I, I get to that point where I'm insecure. And, you know, I need that best friend or somebody to talk to. You know, just like you guys come to me and you want me to talk to you guys. Sometimes I'm like that too. You know, sometimes I need that boost of encouragement. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, I don't claim to be, but I am a work in progress. You know, so all I just ask is when I get like that, just pray for me and 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 work with me because you know it's hard for me to do that it's hard for me to trust people you know it's hard for me to to let down my guard and to admit some of my a lot of my insecurities because i don't want people to know that it's it's you know it's something that is it's just hard you know um but i'm working on it um now as, as far as with when it comes to personal relationship type of things, whether it be my family, personal relationship, whatever, you know, you guys to me are the ones that, that I hold really dear and you guys can hurt me far more quicker than I could ever imagine because y'all know me too well, you know, and, um, and when I, I let you guys into me, well, first of all, if you're my family, I can't change that, you know, you're going to be my family to the day I die, ain't nothing that nobody can say or, or do that's going to change that, um, so with that, that just comes with the territory. Yeah, you're going to get into it. But at the end of the day, you still, you still, my mama, my daddy, sister, brother, whatever, you still going to be that to me. And I can't change that. But um, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to learn, you know, how to just not take what everybody say to heart. I really truthfully am, especially the ones that's my family and the people in my personal relationship, because, you know, I don't have this thing with me where I can just, um, I can just say, you know, this is what it is and just leave it like that. You know, I tend to be the type of person, as soon as somebody say something, then I want to kind of fix it or I just want to change it to fit, to fit what everybody else 
want it to be and that's not being real or authentic it's being like trying to trying to be what everybody else want me to be and i'm trying not to be that way and i'm i'm this this is so hard for me to freaking admit out loud because i don't i don't do this i don't tell people I don't tell everybody what goes on with me because it's hard for me to admit that shit, you know, especially out loud. I said I was not going to cry, but, you know, I try so hard not to do that, you know, and, and maybe that's the reason why I look up to people like, like Dollface and, and, and B. Scott and, and my, my best friend. Maybe that's the reason why I look up to y'all because I wish that I had that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's hard for me to even admit this shit on camera because I don't I don't do that. You know, and maybe that's the reason why a lot of times when I think I'm helping a lot of people or I'm trying to help myself, I'm not helping myself. I'm actually hurting myself, you know, and, and it's hard to admit that out loud because when you trying to get over your insecurities or something you trying to change, facing it is the hardest thing you'll ever do. You know, and and maybe that's the reason why with me, that's why I look up to y'all. Maybe that's the reason why for me, I it's stuff that y'all be saying that be uh, encouraging and uplifting to me because because I sometimes I just wish that I could just do that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I wish that I can just be like that you know i am a work in progress you know and i'm trying my hardest i really am and yes i am a sensitive person i am really super sensitive and to all y'all motherfuckers out there that don't that saying negative shit or whatever or it's gonna say stop crying and all that or whatever i don't give a fuck what you say you know what i'm saying I'm a sensitive person and that's just the way that it is but because i'm sensitive it doesn't mean that i'm not strong you know what I'm saying? Don't take my kindness and me crying as a sign of weakness because I am not weak. I just give a damn. You know? And for me, it's it's just it's just it's just hard, you know, because I do look up to, you know, to be Scott and and I look up to Dollface and I look up to Mariah Carey because her music, Mariah, if you hear me, we'll talk. If you hear me and you see this video, I swear to God, you the reason why, one of the reasons why I'm still here because when I almost committed suicide and I almost killed myself, your songs saved me and one day, I promise God, I'm going to be able to say that to you face to face. And I promise you, God, I'm going to tell you how much I appreciate you as a person. Because you saved me. You stopped me. Your songs stopped me from killing myself. Your songs stopped me from doing the inevitable. You know, and, and if I have a hard time trusting people, it's only because, because I have a hard time doing it you know i'm trying to learn how to to not do that you know and there's a lot of things you know within my life within my personal you know family issues and and, and relationships you know where i make mistakes you know what i'm saying and, and and i can take a lot of things you know but there's a lot of things that i'm learning too and I am a work in progress. I really am. And all I ask is that for y'all to pray for me. You know, because one day I'm going to be to that point where I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm going to get to that point. I'm going to get to that point where I, I'm not going to care what nobody say. I'm going to be me and I'm going to say what I mean and mean what I say. And nobody is going to be, be able to get to me. The only reason why it gets to me is because I have a heart. And I am really sensitive. But once I learn how to deal with the situation. And once I learn how to, to cope with it. 
and find a way not to let what everybody say get to me, I am going to be a, a great, a better person for it. You know, so that's all I have to say. And like I said, any of y'all negative motherfuckers, if y'all think that I am being, I'm crying too much and, and, and whatever else you want to say, if you ain't got something good to say, keep it to your motherfucking self. Real talk. You know, because to me, this is how I see it. This is my life. You know what I'm saying? And I am a work in progress. And I'm going to get there. One way or another, I'm going to get there. And I'm going to be all right. So, without that said, that's the end of this. You know, and yeah. Bye.